we're exploring careers in the healthcare industry. And while you may think of that as just doctors and nurses, there's a whole host of other jobs that need your skills and abilities. So let's go explore them together. Today we're here at Columbus Community Hospital in Columbus, Nebraska, and I'm with Melinda Allen, who's an employment and education coordinator here. Melinda, tell us a little bit about what Columbus Community Hospital is all about. Absolutely. So here at Columbus Community Hospital, we're a 50-bed acute care hospital. Okay. But what does that mean, sure. really? So we have an emergency room, we have an OB department, but we also have a lot of areas of specialty. We have a cardiac cath lab, a senior behavioral health unit, and then multiple clinics like our Columbus Cancer Care or also a psychiatry clinic. And then right now, we're building a new field house, which will house our sports rehab and uh, performance and training. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about all the types of careers. Now, your role as an employment and education coordinator, new people come in and they talk to Melinda. What, what do you do in your role? Absolutely. Well, I didn't always start out in this role. Okay. I started out in education, okay. and then I worked for the government for a while, and then I found this really sweet spot in healthcare. So it's not what I started out looking for, but I absolutely love it. So I recruit, onboard, and train our current staff. Excellent. And so what sort of career path and education did you have to get into this role? It sounds like it wasn't maybe the traditional healthcare education or something like that. Correct. I thought I would be a teacher. And okay. that was where I, I started that education path. And I really enjoyed it. But I found that I wanted to, to explore different options. <laughs> and so I ended up um, just looking into government and I loved helping people. And that's really okay. where the path started sure. for me. Yeah. But then I found healthcare and what better place to be to help people Absolutely. than in healthcare. Yeah, healthcare is gonna give you an opportunity to help people. And there's many different ways that we can be doing that, that we can be helping people. A job in IT could be helping people. A job as a doctor or nurse can be helping people. So there's all different top types of opportunities here. And so since everyone who comes here gets to go through Melinda, you're probably best qualified to take us on a tour to see some of these jobs available here. Can we do that tour? Yeah, I would love to show you around. All right, let's do it. All right, we're here in the radiology department where all kinds of imaging is happening and it happens behind closed doors. But tell me about what is going on specifically here. Okay, I'd love to. So there's a lot of different things that imaging does. Okay. So they're taking x-rays, CT, MRI, and ultrasound. A lot of people think of ultrasound as only for moms and babies, but there's so much more, even working through vein structures in our cardiac cath lab. Okay, so what sort of skills or degrees would someone need to really work in this department? Well, you can start right off with the certification as a limited x-ray tech. Okay. And we would even pay for you to take additional training. There's an associate's degree and different modalities or different kinds of equipment that you can get training on. And we provide scholarships and apprenticeship programs to help people get that training. Okay, so it sounds like there's kind of a path there where you can get started at a base level, try it out, see what you like, and train on new equipment and things like that, right? Yes, yeah. that's yeah. right. All right, so if seeing inside the body, looking at that sort of thing intrigues you, this might be a job for you. And if you absolutely hate that, which I'm sure plenty of people do, then maybe this is not the area for you and we should go look at another place. So let's head on. Sounds good. All right, here we are and the ICU is behind us. And the ICU stands for what, Melinda? So the ICU stands for Intensive Care Unit. Okay, and help us out knowing what goes on in the ICU and what sorts of jobs and skills and abilities does it take to run an ICU? So in an ICU, you're taking care of the sickest patients in a hospital. Okay. There's registered nurses mm -hmm. that are using so many of the skills that they used and sure. learned in school. Yeah. But then there are levels below that that really support that profession. Okay. So a certified nursing assistant, for example, or a monitor tech. Okay, monitor tech. What, what's involved in being a monitor tech? So a monitor tech, we can train right out of school okay. or their certifications. And what they do is monitor the vitals of the patient to alert the healthcare professionals 
um, to certain things that are going on with them. Okay, well that's a unique experience, a unique job, and a unique skill set that you might be interested in. So let's talk about what else uh, is involved outside of the ICU and really caring for patients as a whole. So there's so many different professions that work in healthcare, whether it's a social worker, someone who's working in IT, someone who's a radiation therapist, medical laboratory scientist, ultrasound tech, there are so many different ways to get involved. Okay, and many of these jobs are challenging, but there's gotta be rewards to caring for people and seeing people recover and seeing people stay well. That really is the best part about working in healthcare. Okay. You get to see people move up and out of maybe a difficult situation, yeah. and you get to be a part of that. Yeah, that's a journey and something that you can help support in many different ways. So thank you, Melinda, for taking us on a tour of Columbus Community Hospital.